the situation is, you know, that people are here as they normally would with everything they need to survive. And so there's no big sense of panic. We're not doing an evacuation. We're waiting for the, the ground to dry. And, um, you know, we're bringing in uh, additional cell phone support for people. We are bringing, we're turning on the internet so that it's uh, widely available. We don't normally have a free Wi-Fi cloud here, but we're doing that so people can make arrangements. We have um, buses coming into Gerlach on a regular basis so that people that walk, choose to walk out can catch the buses. We already have our own, um, we call it the Burner Express Bus and Air Program. And so the Burner Express Bus Program is simply turning itself into that program and any other members of the public uh, will get a free ride um, back to Reno if they've walked out. Um, internally, the roads are still fairly damp. We woke up this morning, they were much drier. We had a little bit of a drizzle um, around one o'clock uh, today, uh, off and on Sunday. And, uh, but the, the, the air is a little breezy, it's cool. And the ground just has to, you know, just dry up. We are seeing some people leave, mostly with all-terrain type vehicle tires, but we are seeing some smaller cars leave. Um, and there's no great chaos, there's no great panic. We've done what we need to do, do internally to make sure that the toilets are pumped um, and that there's food and water. Uh, all the different groups are connecting and making sure that they have that or people are sharing it across departments and that kind of thing. We absolutely um, had heads up on the rain. Uh, the reports, you know, out here we are in a dry lake bed that has mountains all around. So it's fairly common that uh, we might uh, be predicting, um, you know, quarter of an inch in Gerlach in the local town and we'll see nothing. So we were kind of prepared for the whole spectrum of options. Um, would it rain? Would it not rain? Um, and how long would it rain for? And we also know that, you know, something, anything like nine, 10 or 12 hours of nonstop rain, it's just going to take a couple of days to dry. And the incoming weather, as we were watching it, you know, definitely looked like it was going to take at least a day, if not more, to dry. Um, and that's what we're in the middle of. So we had some warning. We, we did post it out on our radio station, BMIR, um, and we let our participants know. Some said, gosh, I didn't listen to the radio. And gosh, I didn't look at the phone. Um, but a lot of people sort of said they knew it. Um, but like I said, you know, there was no cause for panic. Um, we are accustomed to extreme weather here. It was 107 degrees here last year um, for several days. And it's, it's kind of part of the challenge and the ritual uh, to actually, you know, be in the middle of extreme weather and uh, work our way out of it gracefully.